Hi everyone, I'll be discussing about changing your user agent string. This string tells web servers details such as your browser, your OS, your version, and device type. If you want to maintain your privacy, you would want to have this. I'll be using the browser extension user agent switcher and manager, which allows you to change this string that you send to websites. Chrome also has a built-in setting, but it isn't as good. And there are other extensions as well, but I've been using User Agent Switcher and Manager for quite some time. I'm going to search for it, User Agent Switcher and Manager. I'm going to select the first link. Add to Chrome. Add extension. All right, it's been added. And I'm going to go to the extensions. And I'm going to pin it. And now I'm going to close this tab. And I'm going to hover over it, open it up. You can select your browser and you can select your operating system. So for example, in the browser, you got Chrome, you got Firefox, Opera, Edge, and you got others as well. So you scroll down, you have Opera Mobi, Opera Mini. And as you scroll down, you even got other ones, Chromium, and you got Mozilla, and you got Netscape, and you even have Winx. And you can scroll down some more, and there are even more browsers available. And then we go into the operating system. So you can set it as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chromium, Android, and others. Keep scrolling down. So for example, I can set it to Edge. And I can set it to a specific version. Let's say, for example, Edge 131.0.0.0 and Windows 10. And then after selecting, I can hit Apply. And then you'll see that the icon changes at the top here, which means it has been set. Now to go back to your original user agent, you can just hit reset and it will be changed back. So I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna do a baseline test. I can go to whatismybrowser.com and it'll tell you your web browser looks like Chrome 133 on Windows 11. And you can go to the bottom of the page, scroll up and it'll say the Web Browser's User Agent, Mozilla 5.0, Windows NT 10.0, Win64, Chrome 133. And then now I'm going to change it. So let's say, for example, I want to change it to Edge. And then let's say I'll change it to Edge 129.0.2.8.0.1.103, Windows 7. And hit Apply. The icon changes. Go back. I'm going to refresh my page. And we see at the bottom here that the User Agent has changed. We can see it's recognized as Windows NT 6.1. And we got at the far right edge 129.02801.103. So it's working as expected. Now some use cases for this is if I want to see the mobile version of a website, then I can change the user agent to it. So for example, right now if I go to CNN.com, it recognizes my user agent as a desktop. And if I were to change it, to a mobile browser. So go to Android, for example, and I'll change it to Chrome, Chrome 130, apply, go back and then refresh, scroll down and we see that the display of the content is different compared to, for example, on the desktop, it's showing less information because it thinks that I'm on a mobile device. Scrolling down, I'm going to reset, change everything back, and refresh. And we see that it's changed back. So this can be useful if, for example, you want to see the mobile version of the site, as some companies intentionally or unintentionally make things harder based on your agent. So for example, they may have a promotion going on that's targeting mobile users. So what you can do is just change your user agent to a mobile web browser and then you would be able to see all the content. It's not uncommon for companies to intentionally or unintentionally make things harder based on your agent. For example, let's say I want to get the Windows 10 ISO. So I search for Windows 10 ISO download, and I'm gonna click on the first link, and I'm gonna scroll down, and there's no link to directly download the ISO. If I go to more download options, it's not available. I'll have to download the media creation tool. But if I change my user agent to, for example, Mac OS, 
and I'll select Chrome 134, apply, and then I refresh, and we see that it's available to download. Windows 10 multi-edition ISO, confirm, and then select my language, confirm, and now I can download it directly. And another use is if you want to prevent websites from tracking your real browser and OS so you can maintain your privacy. So that's it. That's what you can do if you want to change your user agent string in your browser. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.